You can now get a 30-day trial to experience The Athletic for free. Visit the link in the description below to try it now. Ajax's Ryan Kravenberg is now a fixture in the transfer gossip columns and over the past year, the 19-year-old midfielder has been connected with moves to Manchester United, Liverpool, Real Madrid and Bayern Munich. In fact, it's easier to name the clubs that don't carry an interest in Kravenberg. So, why does everybody want him? What makes him special? Kravenberg has been at Ajax since he was eight years old, and that's not a bad starting point. Now 19 and just over six foot two, he's a handy combination of everything you'd expect from a player raised in Amsterdam. Spatially aware, assured on the ball, skillful, as well as possessing a perfect frame for the modern footballer. Kravenberg is soft-footed and long-legged, meaning that he possesses the first touch to receive the ball under pressure and beat opponents with ease, but then also the capacity to accelerate away from them. It's a cliché, but it's true. He can make football look very easy. He can pass off both feet, although his right is stronger, and he can shoot with either finesse or great violence. So combine those physical and technical attributes, factor in the endorsement of an Ajax education, and it's very easy to get lost in the hyperbole. That is the short answer as to why so many clubs are chasing him. It's because it's so easy to see him evolving into a world-class player. The fact that he carries the ball with such flair and elegance doesn't hurt either, nor does the fact that he carries it like a young Paul Pogba. A more measured perspective, though, might reflect that Kravenberg is the perfect player at the right time. He's a skilled generalist who probably requires defensive support, but who could nevertheless be attuned or adapted around the abilities of all sorts of other midfielders. It is, for instance, just as easy to see him making a home alongside Thiago Alcantara and Fabinho at Liverpool as it would be to imagine him excelling alongside the range of options at the Bernabeu, the Alliance Arena or Old Trafford. Importantly, with a trend for elite clubs facing deep-lying defences, particularly domestically, Kravenberg possesses the kind of abilities which can provide a great deal of thrust. According to fbref.com, he averages 3.61 carries into the final third per game, placing him in the 99th percentile among all other central midfielders. And he's already one of the most progressive carriers in his position in Europe, averaging 7.59 per game good enough for the 96th percentile and a profile pitched somewhere between Marco Verratti and Nicola Barella. As you'd expect from an Ajax Academy product, he's already excellent at identifying space in attacking areas. He's in the 94th percentile for progressive passes received, and he's as liable to beat a defender with the ball at his feet as he is to take them out of the game with a cutting through ball. Now his role in the Ajax team reflects his strengths and weaknesses. 2021-22 is his second full season as a first-team regular, and while it's been partially disrupted by a bout of coronavirus, Kravenberg has typically played at the base of Eric Ten Hag's 4-2-3-1, alongside Edson Alvarez in deep midfield. Alvarez is more of a defensive specialist and provides the stability from which his more gifted midfield partner can express himself. Moreover, that's a protection that Kravenberg needs. He may yet develop an astute defensive timing to go with his array of other abilities, but he's by no means a screening player. Nor is he a particularly reliable presser. And of course, that isn't to say that he couldn't become one, just that he isn't one right now. At 19, there's plenty of time for that to change. In addition to which, Ajax are a superb defensive side anyway, and one that's also averaged nearly 70% possession in their Eredivisie games during the current season. So this side of Gravenberg's game may evolve as and when he moves to a different league and where it becomes more necessary. Ajax's attacking roles ahead of Gravenberg are occupied by Dusan Tadic, Steven Berghaus and Anthony, all of whom have a greater creative responsibility than he does. Gravenberg is, in essence, the connecting piece between the attacking and defending parts of a side. A press-resistant player who can collect the ball from his centre-halves, carry or pass the ball forwards, and who can also give a steady and sometimes spectacular attacking contribution in the offensive third. Quite naturally, players who promise to play that role to a high standard have extraordinary value. And at least in theory, Kravenberg is the most obviously talented complete midfielder of his generation. Intensifying the demand is also his contract situation. His current Ajax deal will expire in 2023, meaning that he's approaching its final year. So, either a sale happens this summer, or he will be available for free in 12 months' time. 
But whenever the move happens, it promises to be an almighty battle between the game's dominant powers. And like so many straight arrow prospects of his last decade, he is represented by Mina Raiola, who's proven very adept at mapping out a smooth route to football stratosphere. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do enjoy Tifo, then you'll probably also like The Athletic. If you watch our tactics videos, you should go and read Michael Cox. If you're into data, read Mark Carey. And if you're into transfers, it's David Ornstein. Plus, if you're a fan of any Premier League team, then there's a journalist dedicated to you, and you can try it for free for 30 days now by clicking the link in the description.